Let's look at an exam question. An aeroplane takes two minutes to travel the short distance between airports on two islands. The graph shows how the speed of the aeroplane changes as it takes off, flies across the sea and lands on the other island. When it is flying across the sea, the aeroplane travels at a constant speed. Calculate the total distance the aeroplane travels. So here we are asked for the total distance, so we need the total area. So let's split the graph into sections A, B and C. Be careful with the scales here. On the time axis, 20 seconds is represented by four small squares. So each square must be five seconds. On the speed axis, each square is five meters per second. So half a square must be 2.5 meters per second. Section A has three squares across the bottom. So this is 15 seconds. The height is 42.5 meters per second. So the area is 0 0.5 times 15 times 42.5. This gives us an answer of 318.75 metres. Section B extends from 15 seconds to 95 seconds. So the base is 80 seconds. The height is still 42.5 metres per second. So the area is 80 times 42.5, which is 3,400 metres. Section C has a base of 20 seconds and a height of 42.5 metres per second. So the area is 0 0.5 times 25 times 42.5, which gives us an answer of 531.25 metres per second. The total area is therefore 318.75 metres plus 3,400 metres, plus 513.25 metres. The answer is 4,250 metres. The mark scheme will give a little tolerance here, just in case you have read 42 metres per second, or 43 metres per second, from the graph. In summary, remember to split the graph into different sections, and work out the area of the relevant sections. Always remember that the area of a triangle is a half times base times height. That's the final video for this section. Move on to the next section, which is all about forces.